Evening everyone, Big L, Saturday night, no boy, he's uh, off to bed, uh, we spent the day over on the other side of the country visiting his gran, my mother, so it's been a busy busy day, started early, finished quite late, we got home, so uh, he's uh, headed off to bed, but uh, what we did receive in the last couple of days was a huge big box of tricks, that came all the way from California A. Eh? Uh, courtesy of uh, Laura Blade. So that is something for you all to look forward to tomorrow. I'd like to say it's going to be an unboxing video but sadly we couldn't resist opening it and having a shifty through. We just didn't have the time to make a video. So you'll see the box <laughs> and you'll see the contents but you won't be able to see how well it was packed. Uh, so that's something we hope to look forward to. Incredible generosity. In the meantime, I just wanted to show you a couple of coins that I picked up. One of them just arrived today. It was waiting for me when I got home uh, this evening, so I thought I'd rattle this through. Um, earlier this year, the uh, Pobjoy Mint, on behalf of the Falkland Islands, released uh, a coin. Um, it was a, a crown um, with uh, the image of Britannia on the front. Uh, and uh, the lizard on the back. This one's actually not a bad uh, portrait. Certainly better than the one that's currently on the British coins. But um, anyway, long and a short, uh, the original, when it was issued, had the words Britannia rules the waves around the outside of the, the coin. This crown. It's a one ounce um, 999 silver one. Kind of reverse proof. But anyway, that caused, uh, as we would say around this neck of the woods, a right stooshy uh, with a royal mint claiming that they were the only mint in the world that had the right to use the word Britannia. So the long and the short of it, just over 7,000 of the original coins were released before the royal mint stepped in and took the legal action to stop Pop Joy selling any more, so they got out, and so now the, the crown that's been released for the rest of the year. Uh, I think the original mintage was going to be limited to 50,000, so this one, uh, the limited mintage is now 42,000 and something, uh, as I say. So, that's that one. I've had it for a wee while. And look what arrived today. This was waiting for me when I came home. So, one of the 7,300 Britannia rules the waves. One crown, one troy ounce of pure silver, 999. Stunning design. You know, I know I'm a supporter of Scottish independence, but you have to admit that that the likeness of Britannia is a an iconic image that represents these, these islands, so um, I'm not going to say it's unattractive. And of course the same old uh, portrait of HRH. Blood-sucking leech. <laughs> you can tell I don't really like them, can you, the royal family? But that's that one. So I now have one of the 7,300 and so together with the one of the 42,000 and something or other. And I'm well pleased with them. Two ounces to the stack. A nice way to finish off a Saturday evening. And tomorrow something really, really good to look forward to. The uh, re-unopening of the box <laughs> that we got from Laura. So big, big thanks for that. Uh, and everyone else will see exactly what we received uh, tomorrow. In the meantime, please let me know what you think of these two little buggers. I think they're crackers. Um, please like, uh, please comment, obviously, good, bad and different. And please, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and hit that little bell. Uh, and uh, you'll know the next time we're gonna be wasting somebody's time. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, have a great Saturday, what's left of it. It's getting kind of late here, so uh, I might have uh, one little glass of wine with my wife and then we'll be heading off to bed. But the rest of you enjoy it and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.